What is art? Does art have to be beautiful, original, complex, or have monetary value? Is it only art if it was made by an artist? What if an artist creates an idea and the art is made or manufactured by someone else? Can a chair or a stack of candy bars be art? Answers to these questions vary from person to person and culture to culture. Even artists, historians, and philosophers all have different ideas about what makes art, art. Okay, I can hear you asking, if no one can come to an agreement about what art is, then why should we even try to define it? Here's why. The more we talk about what art is, the more we learn about what art means to us and understand what it means to other people. Many people think of art as beauty, I bet we can all recall an artwork that made us pause and think, wow, that is beautiful. Beauty can certainly be a useful way to judge what you consider art. But is all art really beautiful? What about Picasso's Weeping Woman? Or graffiti images like Banksy's, which draw attention to corruption and hopelessness? Maybe you need more concrete criteria to define art. The elements of art are a more formal way to analyze artistic components like color, shape, line, texture, and space. Does each element work together to enhance the artwork's subject? If an artist aimed for realistic colors, were they successful? Or did mistakes in shading lead to an accidentally purple tree? This leads us to another important question we need to ask about art. What was the artist's intent? Henry Matisse said, I do not literally paint the table, but the emotion it produces upon me. Matisse's paintings like blue tablecloth and bowl of apples on table clearly communicate these emotional visions. Successful emotional expression is yet another way to judge good art. If Matisse's intent had been to paint tables or apples exactly as they appear in real life, one may have a harder time calling his paintings art. Yet another thing to consider is the function of an artwork. Is artwork still artwork if it has a practical or spiritual function? Can an everyday object be considered artwork if it is simply repurposed or hung on the wall? Is an object considered art if it is given some sort of spiritual significance? Or is the idea behind the object the most important? In conceptual art, the idea is just as important, if not more so, than the final product. This is perfectly illustrated by the artwork One and Three Chairs by Joseph Kosut, which is composed of an actual chair, a scale photograph of a chair, and the printed word chair. It's also perfectly illustrated by René Magritte's This Is Not A Pipe, which is a painting of a pipe captioned with the words in French, This Is Not A Pipe. This kind of conceptual art invites the viewer to examine the artistic qualities of everyday objects. Is a painting of a pipe that is titled, This is not a pipe, art to you? In art, should form follow function or function follow form? What makes something beautiful to you? There is no one single definition of art that encompasses what all people consider to be art. But by trying to understand both the artist's intent that led them to define their work as art, as well as your own interpretations of it, we can each of us come to a deeper understanding of what art means to us. So don't take others' opinions as absolute. More importantly, what is art to you?